Judges, please ask a question. Hello, how are you doing, darling? Not too bad. <laughs> Good. Okay. If you could spend the day with somebody alive, dead, fictional, who would it be and what would you do? Um, this is a really, really easy question for me. My grandmother passed away last summer, Kathy, and... Fuck. <laughs> Excuse my language. She was the most incredible woman I have ever met. Like, she taught me so much. And if I could spend a day with her, I would just do what we always used to do. Sit, have a cup of tea, because we're Irish and just chat and I would get her to tell me all of her stories like the time that she burnt her eyebrows off by hitting a kind of hairspray with a rock um, and take a hundred photos of her because I miss her so much but yeah definitely just she's the only one I want to be with so that's beautiful <laughs> <Woo -hoo>. <laughs> breathe breathe <sighs> everybody let's go Let's take air, inhale, everybody. <laughs> exhale. So, Miss Emerald L, um, who is your burlesque uh, pinup icon? Um, have you heard of Frida Nipples? Oh, yes. yes. Um, I met her actually about two weeks ago in Dublin, and my friend Fee ran a show, and I was like, um, can, can we have her? Yes, please. And Havana Hurricane came over as well, which was incredible. But I was all about Frida Nipples. She is absolutely stunning. And her presence on stage, she is just like, yes. She's just wonderful. And she's such a wonderful person. So yeah, definitely. Frida Nipples, all day, every day. OK, thank you. And you. <laughs> Say it again, please. No, I'm just <laughs> so darling, are you OK? What do you think women can learn from men? I think a lot of people don't like getting this question. Um, and kind of, it's really easy to turn it around and be like, oh, what can men learn from women? But I'm just going to take it back to me. And what I have personally learned from men in my life is strength. Like my parents split up when I was about 14. My father, I wouldn't be really close to my father, but my mother's partner, who is in my life now, has been so incredible. He has supported us, he has taken us under his wings, and to me, he is a father to me now. Like, I have learned strength, generosity, and so much more from him than, you know. Like, I think that obviously women can learn from men, men can learn from women, everyone can learn from everyone. But personally, strength from men is really important. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Emerald L. Right, I'm just going to take that stand off the stage. And if we could hand the mic one, because we are missing all oh, the beautiful. Oh, Thank you, Miss. Oh, see, I. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next beautiful entrant onto the stage. She's got a thin grass. It's Phoebe Von Tassel. Oh, hello. I'm loving this baby doll slippers look. I slipped into something more comfortable. I personally have taken my shoes off because I'm not a sadist, but I'm very jealous of those slippers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, on with the competition. Um, who inspires you and why? My mum. <laughs> she is the biggest bitch I've ever met. Um, oh, yeah. So, um... <laughs> I think the damage is done. I kind of turned into her. I saw mean ones like when I open my mouth, sometimes my mother comes out. Um, she is strong, independent, and although she doesn't want to identify as a feminist, she is fucking fierce and feminist. Yeah, yeah, love that. It was funny because uh, somebody said to me at work the other day, if a woman at work is authoritative, and gets the job done, they're a bitch, but if a man at work does the same thing, they're a boss. Mm -hmm. So My that's something we should all yeah. learn from. Exactly. Hi, darling. So Hi. nice to have you here. And, okay, tonight, you and I, we are going to sleep together, okay? Oh. So I'm gonna kind of dress I can't like you because you are too stunning, but I will try to do my best. And if we will go to the bed with our fabulous uh, night dresses, and I will ask you which story 
you want me to read. So you have Labetti here to just tell you a story, to read you a story. Which which story would you like me to I read? I novels. In this <laughs> So bad, and I think we have it. Yeah, yeah, we have it all coming. Yes, I think Playboy will play it very well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Looking forward to it, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I really want those slippers. I know. I know. Let's steal them. Okay. Um, what? is the most naughtiest thing you have ever done in your life and please be honest and graphic <laughs> and graphic <laughs> from the boss here <laughs> okay i once gave a blowjob to a guy in back of a taxi but since this is a family show no um it's not very late like i do however have no panties on today <laughs> so like <laughs> I'm starting to get sweaty, so... <laughs> are we, are we... Just put that again? I thought I was going to have another word. Sorry! She had that little bit. No, it's sorry. I was, I was trying to work it. I, I apologise, darling, you may go. I was, I was researching. Please be on that Going commando here on the pin-up stage. So that's a date, yeah? Is that going to be pay-per-view? Mm -hmm. Lavetti? <laughs> With your pin-up stage? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.